I mean, I was shocked that it dried out jeans that were soaking wet. Well, now that we have winter weather back upon us, I have been getting a lot of questions about the heater that I have been using in my van here for the last six years. So I thought today would be a good opportunity to answer all the popular questions and just give an overview of this heater that I've been using and that I've been really happy with. Well, welcome, my name is Scott and this is my YouTube channel, Static Camper Van. And I've been living out of this van for about seven and a half years now. And for the last six years, I have been using this Olympian Wave 3 propane heater. And we'll talk about this in a second, uh, but I just wanna start out by saying that I'm not here to try to convince you to use a certain type of heater or not. This is not a paid advertisement. This is not an advertisement at all, actually. Uh, I found this heater after doing some research several years ago and decided to give it a try. And it's been such a great heater over the years that I have been relying on this uh, as my heater, as my main heater for all the time that I've had it. Uh, now, if you are a keen viewer uh, to my videos and have been watching my videos for a number of years, uh, you may notice something slightly different about this heater here behind me. And we'll get into that in just a moment. Uh, but first, I want to say too that uh, not only am I not trying to convince you to go with a propane heater, I know people are very averse to having propane in their vehicle uh, or propane near their vehicle. Uh, so if, if that is you, uh, you might just skip this video because I'm not going to try to convince you otherwise uh, to use propane. Uh, I use propane. I've been using propane for a number of years. I found it to be safe. Uh, if you have a difference of opinion, uh, then I respect that. Uh, hopefully you'll respect my opinion as well. Probably not. Probably there's going to be a few people that uh, try to convince me that propane is dangerous and I should get rid of it. Uh, I've been hearing all those types of thoughts for the last, well, six or so years. So um, uh, probably, probably just save, save your breath on that one. <laughs> now I just made a fresh cup of coffee and it's a little hard for me to put it down, but we need to get to the heater here. So this is again, an Olympian Wave 3 heater. I have it mounted on the wall of my van here on a flat panel TV mount. And I keep it secure with just a little bungee cord here. Uh, I find that that's the easiest way for me to just keep this from flying around as I drive. Uh, but if I remove the bungee cord, you can see that I have a lot of range of movement here with this flat panel TV mount. Um, of course, I do need to make sure that the flat panel TV mount is anchored very well to the wall. So this is screwed into some plywood that uh, makes up this cabinet that is uh, bolted directly to the sheet metal of my van. So this is really good and solid. Although I should say that over the years, this uh, flat panel TV mount has gotten to be a little bit weak. So uh, it's starting to droop a little bit uh, after six years plus, but uh, it's holding up pretty good. Uh, this mount is just one that I found on Amazon that had the right dimensions for me. So what I was looking for was to be able to get this out away from the wall, away from my bed and away from the ceiling, just to provide a little bit of room around the heater. Uh, the company here, Olympian, says that you need about four to six inches of space around the heater. Uh, now, if you notice, this is mounted on to a wooden board on, on the back. And this is not a problem because these heaters do get a little bit hot around the outside, but they don't get hot on the back at all. So you can mount it directly to any kind of wood surface. Uh, it, you really could even mount it to say uh, your door or a cabinet. Um, but because I'm limited on space, I kind of had to be creative about this. So this is what I came up with. So this works for me and this is how I've been using it for all these years. Uh, there are some advantages and disadvantages to having it up off of the floor. Uh, the one advantage is since I'm in a minivan here, I just don't have space to put this anywhere else. Uh, obviously it would be better if I put the heater down on the floor uh, because when uh, a heater is running, heat rises and you get a more thoroughly warmed room or space uh, if it's down low. Now I don't have the option of putting it down low, so it's up here 
off the floor and uh, I just don't have any choice about that, but this has been working very well for me. So this is a propane heater and this is where some confusion lies with these heaters. Uh, whenever you start to talk about an Olympian Wave 3 heater, people usually bring up uh, the Mr. Heater Buddy heaters. And you might be familiar with these Mr. Heater Buddy heaters. A lot of people call them Mr. Buddy heaters. Uh, they are available all over the place. You can pick them up at Walmarts or Home Depot, uh, really anywhere. And they are relatively inexpensive. Um, the thing is, they are nothing alike, uh, these two heaters. So the Mr. Heater Buddies are a propane heater, yes, uh, but that's where the similarities kind of end with these heaters. They use a very different technology. Uh, it would be a little bit like saying, uh, you know, if you're trying to get across town, I could either drive the, across town in my van or I could take uh, a motorcycle. They're both going to get you there. They're both uh, a conveyance, but they're totally different technologies. If you kind of get my drift here, I've had one in the past. Uh, I've actually had two in the past uh, and neither one of them worked out. So I had the medium sized one and then I had the smaller one and I found them to be well dangerous uh, to put it mildly. Um, for one, I just didn't have a, a good enough space to put them up in and to keep them from falling over, tipping over, or lighting something on fire. Uh, those Mr. Heater Buddies put out a lot of heat. So you turn them on and you get a big blast of heat all of a sudden. That is a very different uh, thing compared to the Olympian Wave 3 heaters. Uh, these Wave 3 heaters put out very little heat. Uh, they heat very differently. So uh, a lot of people say that these heat like the sun heats uh, and that would mean that they heat objects that they're pointed at. So when I position this at night, I have to make sure that I position it, say going down my bed here, because when I'm sleeping, obviously I'm gonna be sleeping this way. So if I point the heater this way, I will feel the heat and it will, it'll warm me up and keep me warm all night. Uh, if I position the heater another way, it'll heat up whatever it's pointed at, uh, but I won't really feel the effects of that heat very much because it doesn't heat up the air like uh, a traditional propane heater does, uh, much like the Mr. Heater Buddies work. Uh, the Mr. Heater Buddies work by heating up air and that air heats up your space. A uh, very different concept with these heaters. So this is called a catalytic heater. And a lot of people say that the Mr. Heater Buddies are a catalytic heater. They are not. They are a different technology. They heat air, not objects. When I bought this heater, it was a very different experience than using those Mr. Heater Buddies. I was expecting this to blast out some heat as soon as I turned it on. It doesn't do that. Uh, and so I was a little disappointed at first until I realized that that is actually a big benefit with these heaters. Uh, if you need heat for an extended period of time, uh, I like to sleep for nine or 10 hours a night. Yeah, that's true, I do. And with this heater, I can just let it run all night long and not have to worry about it catching anything on fire uh, or overheating the van. So they have uh, two settings, uh, a high and a low. Uh, the low is 1600 BTU. So that's a pretty low amount of heat that comes out of a heater of this size. Um, the high, I don't, very often use. Uh, it's got to be well below freezing if I'm going to run this on high because I have such a small space here that if I run this on high for more than half an hour to an hour, it's just too warm in here. Uh, it's just too warm for my space. These are said to be able to heat up to a hundred square foot area. And I've got much less than that here. I'm probably somewhere in the neighborhoods of 35 square feet, uh, just to give you an idea. Now, one of the reasons that I'm able to use this heater that is kind of really oversized for the space is because I do run uh, two vents in my van. I have a whole ventilation system that I have in place and it, it, I worked this out over uh, several months of time, but I have a Max Air roof vent fan uh, and I also have a floor vent uh, that's 
a hole right in my floor. I've got a couple of videos on that. Well, I've got several videos on that actually, if, if you want to check those out. But uh, that system of having air that comes up through the floor and escapes out through the top of the van really works out well uh, in my small space here. For one, I always have fresh air coming in the van, which is really important if you're running any kind of propane heater. Uh, they do burn a little bit of oxygen, and so you do need to have a little bit of air coming in. So whether you have a window that you can open up uh, or a vent that you can open up, uh, you'd need that. Now, I think you need two vents, uh, not just one. I think that you'd need to have a draw of air, and that's where my floor vent and roof vent system kind of work very well for this. Uh, it allows extra oxygen to come in so that it's safe in here. This has never set my CO alarm off, not even once. Uh, and that's probably due to the fact that these are made very, very well. Uh, they burn very efficiently. Uh, and that's another thing that's very different about the wave heaters versus the Mr. Heater Buddies. And that's one of the benefits to these. Now, these are a bit more expensive, um, probably more than $100 uh, than a Mr. Heater Buddy, but you are getting a much better made uh, heater. Uh, now, when I said a moment ago that uh, you may have noticed that there's a little difference here with this heater, uh, this is actually not the heater that I have been using for the last six years. Uh, this heater was just gifted to me a few days ago by a very good friend of mine. I was mentioning to him that my Wave 3 heater that I have been using all these years uh, was starting to act up. It was getting to be a little bit hard to light and it was making a kind of strange noise once it was lit. And he offered to give me this heater. Um, I tried to pay him for it. He would not take any money for it. Um, I thought that they had a use for it. I thought that they were going to use it uh, for something on their property. And so I, I was really thinking that I owed them some money for it, but they didn't want any money for it. So I am very thankful. I have a brand new heater. I've been using this for the last three nights, and I can tell you it has been working really, really well. Um, apparently, something has gone wrong with my, my old heater, and so... Uh, the difference between the two has been pretty significant. Well, it's getting to be a little bit chilly outside, so I need to get this lit so I can stay warm tonight. There's a little starting procedure with this, and it's fairly easy to do. Um, you just hold down the gas and hit the little ignition button there, and then it just takes a couple of minutes uh, for you to hold the gas down for it to uh, warm up. Uh, and then you turn it up onto its high setting, and leave it on high for a few minutes. I think they recommend about 10 minutes, but I don't usually let it uh, stay on high that long. I usually just let it sit for a couple of minutes. So this would just take a couple of minutes to get lit fully. Okay, so that's it. Uh, this is heating up nicely. Uh, it's been heating on high for the last couple of minutes, so I'm just gonna turn this down onto low or else I will overheat. And you see the beauty with this uh, flat panel TV mount. I can kind of move this around. So if I'm going to be sitting here in the morning, kind of getting ready at my sink, uh, I can have a little bit of heat on me. Uh, or I can turn this around and face it down along the length of my bed. So as I'm sleeping, it'll keep me warm at night. So this is a really good setup for me. Now these wave heaters come in three different sizes. This is the smallest. Uh, there is a wave six and a wave eight. Those are obviously better suited for larger vehicles or larger spaces. Uh, but I certainly don't need one any bigger than this one. Uh, this one suits me just fine. The only time I do kind of wish that I had more heat uh, is maybe when the temperature drops down into the teens. Uh, even on high, this is maybe slightly underpowered for uh, my space, although it may have something more to do with the fact that I always leave my vents open. So even if it's down at zero degrees uh, Fahrenheit, I'm not closing either one of my vents. I keep those open. So that does mean that I have a pretty good draw of cold air that rushes through the van here, which keeps the van uh, a little cooler than it maybe 
could have if I closed up one of them. Uh, but I do really believe that we need to keep our vents open all the time. And another reason I think that we need to keep our vents open all the time, not just because of the oxygen issue, uh, but that is because of the moisture issue. And that gets into one of the little uh, misconceptions about these wave heaters. Uh, most people think that since it is a propane heater that it would be uh, expelling a lot of moisture and making the van wet and causing moisture issues, but uh, that is absolutely not true. Uh, that is a carryover from people mistaking these from being a Mr. Heater Buddy, which they are not. Uh, hopefully I've gotten that point driven home pretty good already, but uh, yeah, if you've used a Mr. Buddy heater like I have, uh, you do know that they not only do they put out a lot of heat, but they add a lot of moisture to the air. Uh, I used uh, Mr. Heater Buddy for a few different times in the van here, and it was horrible. Uh, the whole van would fill up so much full of moisture that I would actually have condensation dripping off of the ceiling after just running the heater for an hour or two. Uh, it was pretty bad. Uh, I've never had the issue uh, with the wave here, and in fact, I have found it to be quite the opposite. Uh, back when I first got this heater, I really became enamored with it because I was out hiking one day. I was soaking wet. I actually was wearing jeans, and they were soaked through. I hung the jeans up, and ran the heater all night on low. And when I got up in the morning, those jeans were dry. Now you do need to have the vents open like I do. So as long as you've got good vents and good venting going on, it will keep your van dry and you can dry out wet clothes. I mean, I was shocked that it dried out jeans that were soaking wet. This does not add any moisture to my van. In fact, it does the opposite. It always dries the van out. Uh, if I've got wet towels, uh, anything wet, it'll keep the van dried out. Uh, if the air is wet outside, if, if it's rainy and wet outside, this Wave 3 will keep the moisture level down in my van. So I've never had any issues with moisture. I've never had uh, to wake up and say, wipe my windshield off. Uh, nothing like that. Uh, the Wave 3 really does a great job in keeping your vehicle dry. Uh, for some reason, people don't believe me about that, but uh, if you're going to ask somebody about an opinion on these, ask somebody that has owned a Mr. Heater Buddy and a Wave Heater, and you'll get a proper answer. Uh, people that tell you that these add moisture just really don't know what they're talking about. Another benefit with these wave heaters is they are designed to run off of bulk propane tanks. So the same tank that you would use for a regular barbecue, you can hook up to a wave heater, uh, any of the three sizes. Uh, you can also run these little green bottles of propane. Uh, these I'm not very fond of, but I do usually keep a couple of these around just because I don't ever like to be cold, and so I keep one or two of these as a backup. But these are quite expensive for me. Uh, in this area that I'm in at the moment around Seattle, these are about $6 a piece. Uh, but I can take my bulk propane tank and get it filled up uh, for about uh, three bucks a gallon or less. Uh, last time I got it filled up, it was about uh, 268 a gallon. The tank that I have in the van here, that I keep in the van here, uh, is a two gallon tank uh, or an 11 pound tank. So a little different size than a barbecue tank, but it's basically the same type of tank and it has the same safety valve on it. That's one of the things that I like about the bulk tanks is that they do have a safety mechanism on them. And if you look at these uh, green bottles, uh, you'll notice that there is no safety valve on these. So these are actually not a very safe uh, way of holding propane. Uh, you really want to be careful with these. Uh, if they get too hot, they can uh, expel some propane. So it's another reason why I don't really like these, but I do keep these around in the wintertime. I try not to keep these in the van in the summertime, though, because occasionally I can get stuck in some hotter climates, and I have had these leak in the van where I've been away from the van. Maybe I forgot to turn my vents fan on, and I uh, got a little bit hot in here, and I've come back to a half-empty 
green bottle uh, and the rest of the propane is just kind of hanging out in the van here. Uh, the nice thing about having a floor vent though is it very quickly finds the propane very quickly will find its way down through the floor vents and kind of escape the van. Uh, but I still need to be a little bit careful uh, about keeping these green bottles around uh, in a hot environment. The nice thing about these heaters being designed to run on regular barbecue tanks is that it is easy to get parts for them. So you will need a regular barbecue hose assembly and also regulator assembly. And uh, that's just a low pressure regulator assembly that you would use for any regular barbecue uh, is what you would need to run these. And one thing that I have learned over the years about barbecue hoses and regulators is that they need to be changed out frequently. Uh, the lines like I'm using here are rubber lines and they do dry out over time. I did find that when I was down in the desert most of the time, uh, the dry air and the warmer climate meant that I had to replace these quite often. Uh, Probably once a year is a good idea if you are in a drier climate. Uh, I find that if I'm up here in the Pacific Northwest, they do last a little bit longer, but definitely you want to think about changing them out once a year or twice a year at the most. Uh, in fact, I'm getting ready to replace one of my lines now, and I'm going to try out a new line. This is a uh, steel braided line, which I'm going to see if it lasts a little bit longer than just the regular rubber hoses. So I think that's about it. I think I've covered all the big major questions. Uh, maybe you're gonna believe me that these Wave 3 heaters are very different from a Mr. Buddy heater, or maybe you're not. Uh, but I can tell you, if you are looking at them, I do really encourage you just to do a little bit more research and just make sure that a Mr. Heater Buddy is the one that you want to go with if that's what you're leaning towards. I know that the price is a big difference, uh, but I did get a good six years out of my old Wave 3 heater, uh, and I did not treat it well. Uh, I didn't keep it covered uh, like you should, uh, didn't keep it clean like I should, so uh, probably would have lasted a lot longer if I would have kept up on the maintenance of it a little bit. I will be doing a little bit better job with this one. Uh, my buddy actually gave me a cover for it, which I have back here. So uh, when I'm not using it, I'll keep it covered up, which is important for uh, the life and longevity of these heaters. So I think that's about it. I think that covers all the big questions that I normally get on these. Uh, maybe it was a little bit too in depth and probably I spent a little bit too much time talking about the Mr. Heater Buddies, but for some reason, I just can't seem to get it through to people that I'm talking to that these are two entirely different heaters. And I really like this heater. Uh, I had a couple of Mr. Buddy heaters. I really gave them a good try and they just were quite awful. I think that they were quite dangerous actually. One time uh, the Mr. Buddy heater that I had fell over and actually melted my floor a little bit. So I'm not a big fan of them, uh, but I am a big fan of the wave heaters. Well, I hope you found the video helpful and informative. And if you have, uh, please give it a like. Those uh, thumbs up to help the channel out a lot. Uh, and you know what else helps is uh, by subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. I'll have uh, new videos out every Monday at about 4.30 or 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you can follow along if you like uh, this kind of content. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.